Welcome to Larabita Children's Hospital. As you will hear and see over the next few minutes, Larabita is a very special place. Located on the beautiful shores of Lake Michigan, Larabita has offered our young patients and their families the best in pediatric specialty care since 1896. With this rich history of providing care to children and only children, today Larabita is focused on patients who need us most kids with chronic illnesses and disabilities, as well as those dependent on medical technology or needing rehabilitation after surgery or an injury. Everything we do is with children in mind. Our holistic, family-centered care goes beyond providing the latest technologies and therapies. It means that we help meet all of the child's needs, body, mind, and spirit. Please take a moment to learn more about our very special place on the lake. Together, we can help each child reach his or her full potential, both inside and outside of the hospital. We're about to spend <laughs> Lupus Awareness Month together, spreading it to the world, globally, online, everywhere, to let people know how important it is. From World Lupus Day in New York City to the walk in New Jersey. About 200 of my team members are going to be here today to find a cure for lupus. I think it's huge to spread awareness. Yeah. It's a great turnout, and every year it seems to be bigger and bigger. Beautiful day, good turnout. Uh, hopefully we'll raise about $100,000 for lupus research today. Today I'm helping to host a scientific collaborative meeting between all the different geneticists, scientists, researchers that we fund. We do it a little differently than the other organizations do. They're one of the few American organizations that actually fund outside of the U.S. They actually go worldwide looking for cures for lupus. It's exciting that these scientists get together. It's hard to break them up. They want to keep talking and collaborating, and that was why we started this. The discoveries in the genetics of lupus have accelerated tremendously, and that initial funding by the ALR really was the catalyst that allowed that to happen. Very exciting time for lupus research. The ALR is working with us patients so we can get to the point where we have a cure. That's why I love them so much. It was my last semester actually. I came very close to not graduating just because I had a little bit of money left on my account. It's not money that I could just go home and say, hey guys, just had no idea how I was going to pay it. We've got young men and women who have done everything right. It's not that they've run out of a whole lot of money. They've just run out of enough money to cross the finish line. We've helped thousands of students to close their account and get their diploma. I was lucky enough to actually be a recipient of the scholarship. It meant that I would be able to finish school. If I could get my diploma, it made a huge difference in my life. It definitely has. With a small donation, we can help thousands of students cross the finish line. CESA scholarship is really one where a little bit of money makes a huge difference. A mind is definitely a terrible thing to waste. Make a difference in someone's life today. Go to uncf.org. If it had not been for this emergency fund, I really don't know what I would have done. We were sitting in the living room watching The Princess and the Frog, <laughs> and the smoke detector started going off upstairs. My closet, my entire closet was on fire. Mm -hmm. He went and got a bucket of water and this little fire extinguisher. And I was just like, the whole closet was on fire. It just wasn't enough. So I was just like, let's just get out. The fire department came and the whole entire upper level was just completely exhumed in fire. First thing I thought about was, oh my God, what if we were asleep? Like shocked for like a couple of days. My security was taken away, and it's just, it's really hard when security is taken away. Right. It's a feeling no one should ever feel. I think that's when reality started to kick in a little bit. Mm -hmm. When to see them come, to see the truck and Ashley and the other young lady came in and they sat down, they were so nice, they were so sweet. It was just like, everything is gonna be okay and you guys are gonna be fine and we're here to help. And that's what made me just break down because she was so concerned about us. Most people just do their jobs. Mm -hmm. When you have somebody that's compassionate, that it really brought tears to my eyes. But at the same time, it made me feel good to know that people actually care. I was so grateful that she gave us to her. They were 
were great. They were amazing. Yeah. And they really inspired my son as well. I definitely will be volunteering and donating as soon as I'm able to. It's really inspiring. It really is. Mm -hmm. The, the Red Cross will always be there for you. Thank you, Red Cross.